let's see a problem on pseudo order reaction hydrolysis of methyl acetate in aqueous solution has been studied by titrating the liberated acetic acid against sodium hydroxide the concentration of the ester at different times is given below given this in the form of table show that it follows a pseudo first order reaction as as of water remains nearly constant 55 mole per liter during the course of the reaction what is the value of k dash in the equation rate equal to k dash into concentration of cs3 c double o cs3 into concentration of h2o see what he given in the problem and what we have to find out he is telling that hydrolysis of methyl acetate in aqueous solution it means methyl acetate is cs3 c double o cs3 hydrolysis means adding up water to this methyl acetate upon hydrolysis this methyl acetate will give you acetic acid and methyl alcohol this uh, acetic acid liberated acetic acid is titrated against sodium hydroxide that is the experiment and uh, he given concentration of ester at different times ester is nothing but this methyl acetate only let's see what he given in the table this is time column he given time in, in minute and this is concentration of ester column he given concentration in mole per liter at time t equal to 0 that is at the beginning of the reaction concentration of the ester is 0 0.8500 and at time t equal to 30 minute concentration of ester is 0 0.8004 like that he given at time 60 and at time 90 and he is asking we have to show this is this a, a pseudo first order reaction and he is telling that uh, water remains constant that is 55 mole per liter and also we have to calculate value of k dash in this equation let's see now how to show this is a pseudo first order reaction pseudo first order reaction see he given rate equation this one this is the rate equation rate equal to k dash into concentration of cs3 c double o cs3 into concentration of h2o he given this concentration of h2o as constant so this is also constant this is also constant I will take these two constant as one more constant that is k where k equal to k dash into concentration of h2o see now this is the first order reaction order is 1 see power is 1 you know that for first order reaction k equal to 2.303 by t into log of initial concentration divided by concentration of the reactant or after some time t now calculate the value of k by taking any pair of these uh, value values and let's see wha what we get what we, we get k value now take to these pairs the that is at the beginning of the reaction concentration is 0 0.8500 and uh, after 30 minutes concentration is this much so from this these two data you can calculate k value so k equal to 2.303 divided by time is 30 minutes so log of initial concentration is 0 0.8500 and concentration after 30 minutes is 0 0.8004 now calculate k value simplify 2.303 by 30 is 0 0.0767 and log of uh, this division will give you 1.0619
log of 1.0619 is 0.026 so 0.0767 into 0.026 is 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 3 per minute now let's calculate k value for one more fair up reading now take these two this 0 and 60 second take these two fair and uh, see i will mark uh, will understand for first one you have taken these two and uh, now for second one you take these two see now this is initial concentration and concentration after 60 minutes is this much so k equal to 2.303 time is 60 minutes from 0 to 60 minutes initial concentration is 0 0.8500 divided by concentration after 60 minutes is 0 0.7538 0 0.7538 now try to simplify this one and try to get value of k when you simplify you will get result like this um, you will get k value as uh, 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 3 per minute now let's take this pair this this and this this is initial concentration and its concentration after 90 minutes so you can calculate k k equal to 2.3 by 90 into log of 0 0.8500 this is initial concentration concentration after 90 minute is 0 0.7096 0 0.7096 after your simplification you will get rate constant as 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 3 per minute why per minute unit a given time in minute see all these uh, first uh, and second third rate constant value all are same 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 3 only all are so it is a first order reaction since he given water as constant reaction will behave as pseudo first order reaction it is, it is a pseudo first order reaction you can take any fair of reading i have taken this one and this these two and these two you can take these two or uh, these two any fair you take you will get k value as 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 3 only let's see now second part of the problem that is we have to calculate k dash in this equation see since he given ca concentration of h2o is uh, constant during the reaction so i will take this constant and this constant as one more constant that is rate constant equal to k equal to k dash into concentration of h2o so rate equal to k into concentration of the cs3 c double o cs3 now in this you know k value just now you have calculated and uh, you know concentration of h2o that is 55 mole per liter he given so you can easily find out value of k dash so k equal to k dash into concentration of h2o so k dash equal to k into k divided by concentration of h2o you know k value as 2.0 into 10 to the power minus 3 and uh, you know h2o concentration of h2o is 55 mole per liter so when you simplify this one you will get 3.63 into 10 to the power minus 5 as the value of k dash see unit when you take this mole upside it will become per mole when you take the when you take this per liter upside it will become liter and keep this per minute as it is that's it the problem okay thank you thank you subscribe to my channel to get more videos like the video share the video and spread worldwide to help others